Welcome back, all you OGs out there. Whether you're an online gamer, an original gangster, or just an old geezer like me, this is Yuli1961 for Old Gamers Never Die. And I'm uh, back on Atlas, and we're on official, as curious as that may be. You know, I did the starter guide, and I figured, well, let's see if I've still got it, and give it a shot and run through the whole shooting match. So this is the first base that I built after I got started with my uh, little ship. It got blown up. <laughs> so I built this pier here, and... Ah, built a cog, which I never thought I'd ever do, but it, it's, it's served its purpose and it's at my new base. This is just a temporary stop off, but it's a great place to teach a lesson that I've seen a lot of people ask questions on either on the internet or on YouTube or all over the place. And that is new players asking, where in the heck do you get oil? And it's real simple. Honestly, it is really easy to get oil in this game. The easiest way, absolutely simplest way is you see these guys right here, the tuna. You can use a bow underwater. Well, maybe you can't. <laughs> Most people can. I just can't seem to hit anything. Um, just, just shoot them. If you want to hit them with a spear, you can do that too. It just, just kill them. That's all you gotta do is get them up there, kill them, drop them on the ground. Use your pick. You're gonna get more oil and flesh if you do that and hack them up and you can see i'm getting fish oil which is a type of oil on atlas there are five or six different kinds of oil this is the easiest one to get because all you do is farm fish and hey guess what if you find one of these guys let's see if you, let's see if there's one out here there usually is we like to hang out around docks uh, there we go there he is bang raids they have lots of oil i can hit him on. Drowned. Trying to get this guy. Let me get some air. Yeah, come on over here, buddy. Only problem with the stingrays is they will try. <laughs> besides trying to kill you, they will try to run. And they can get get moving pretty good. Especially once you start getting them down in health, they'll try to take off. There he goes. And they will kill you if you uh, if you let them. Okay, he's dead. Yep, there he goes. Drag the body on the shore because all you do is hit E and you can drag him. Let's uh, go back over here to the base <laughs> so we don't get eaten by another one. Ooh, he really knocked me down a bit. Yeah, I'm getting kind of old. If you see the uh, wrinkled pants down there at the bottom right, <laughs> it's weird and official. It seems like it depends on what server you're in, how old you are. I think it's a glitch, but we'll get him over here on land and we'll just hack him up and you'll see you get a bunch of oil that way. Right in there, get our trusty pick out and whack a mole or whack a mana. How's that? Whack a mana. And there we go. We have. 206 oil and this is on official settings I'm, I'm playing the official game so this is not me bumping up settings any so that's the easiest way to get oil i'm gonna show you a different way and i'll be right back oh pardon me bull okay here we go here's the other way so you'll find these rocks on different places different islands and it is if you hold down your h it'll say it's got crude oil in here so this is like a shale rock this particular one if you look in the top right of my screen you can see very faintly discovery area pathfinder stop so where i am on the map on the official let's bring up the atlas that's a lot easier to see okay so here's where i'm at so if you look at a2 bottom left island you can find these shell rocks and all you've got to do is hit them with pick and you're going to start collecting a lot of oil So that's, I mean, again, this is official settings. I haven't changed anything and uh, yeah, got lots of oil. The third way that you can get oil that I am not in the position to do right now is 
getting out in the grids where they have whales. If you kill a sperm whale or a blue whale and hack them up, you will get basically blubber. Naphtha, I think is what it's called. That's oil and you can burn it just like anything else. The other reason I wanted to stop here and show you this at this island instead of my new digs over on the other side of the map here is I plopped down a few of these. Now, if you haven't put down swarm houses, you really need to do this because here's something that I said in the beginner's tips that you really want to go get you a bear as soon as you possibly can. Well, the bears tame fastest on honey and honey looks just like that. If you see the little eh, clamshell like thing with the honeycomb in there, that's where bees are. And if you hit that, there's going to be a bunch of bees that are going to come out. But if you put these swarm houses, that one's not mine, but the one back there is near these beehives, then what will happen? I will show you. Oh, there they are. Ah! Is when the bees follow you over here, they will get sucked up into the house. There's one putting in there. And I got two more after me. They it gives it's a little bit of a cooldown, but you can kind of kite them around this thing. And it'll vacuum them up right into there. <laughs> Sooner or later. Yeah, they will kill you if you let us just stand there and let them sting you, but just kind of kite them around your little swarm hive there. Oh, come on, pick them up. And once they're all sucked in there, then what they're doing is they're going to, they're going to make honey for you in the swarm house and you can go by and collect it. And once I get these guys in here, I'll show you how that works. Cause if I start, stop now, they're going to sting me to death. I don't know. Is it full? That's not good. All right, well, we're just gonna have to kill them. If you need to kill bees, I found the easiest thing to do is use a pick. And for some reason that seems to work on them pretty good. Just keep swinging in the air wildly. If you run out of stamina or they kill you or you kill them. There, see, dead. And I didn't even get hurt that bad. Okay, so the cool thing about this swarm house is you can access it and look at all the honey. Now it only stacks one when they're making it, but if you drop it over into your inventory, it'll stack it all the way up. And if you just need a place for it to stay, you can put it back over there. It also, if you get ants in there, you'll get the toxic flora. And if you get rattlesnakes in there, which it also collects, you'll get toxic venom. So great way to collect passively some resources that, you know, you'd have to go out and farm. But look here, so we just, we killed a fish and a mana and I got 206 oil. We have harvested one shale rock and I got 872 oil. And then I uh, I hit, hit one honeycomb and picked up what was in my swarm house and I've got 240 honey. So this is a great way to get oil. And you know, as a side bonus, I figured I'd go ahead and show you where the honey is. Cause I said, you should go tame a bear and, and you need to tame a bear. They're awesome. I have a bear. I got lucky. And when I get back on and do the next video of my progress on official, I'll introduce you to uh, Malakup. <laughs> she was a level three bear that was stuck in a tree. So I can't claim that I was awesome in taming her, but I did get her tame. I got a tiger too. She's not a very big tiger, but Hey, I got one in the new Island. So the next time I get on, I'll show you that and we'll continue our adventure on Atlas. Well, hopefully this helps you out in getting yourself started in the game. Get you some oil. That way you can make your lamps, you can make your buckets and all the things that require oil earlier in the game. Then when you start making things like pistols and rifles and cannons, and it's calling for oil, you'll have some because it was easy enough to get, right? So easy way to get it, fish. Next easiest is finding the shell rocks. You just have to find a place that's got them. And like I said, Pathfinder stop has oil rocks. And then the third way to get it is go kill a whale. That's a little bit more difficult and I'm not really prepared to do that, but I have done it on some of the other videos. So if you want to know how to kill a whale, hey, check out one of my other videos on uh, one of the lives where I went whale hunting. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hopefully this helps you in your quest to survive Atlas. <laughs> and if this helps you out the game, Hey, make sure you hit that like button because that really does help me out in getting my videos out there. It really helps me with the YouTuberisms that <laughs> put your videos in front of other people. And Hey, if you enjoy this stuff, hit the subscribe button. I think it's a little white Tic Tac. It's not a big red rectangle like it used to be, but you know, join the movement. <laughs>
All right. Y'all stay safe. Be well. And this is Yuli signing out.